Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. Yeah, playing uh, Swinging Rook tends to work out in general. We did play American Opposing Rook last time, and that actually looked like it was going to work. <laughs> then I took my opponent's pieces and forgot to attack their king. So perhaps today I'll remember to attack the king. We'll see. Maybe not. Good luck. Hmm. Intriguing. Wait, so I have the freedom to choose central file rook in this case? Is that right? Um, I think that's right. So our opponent is playing everyone's favorite castle. Um, actually, no, they're not. Hey, welcome. Oh, I forgot to load a proverb. Usually I type exclamation point proverb to put something interesting into the chat window. Um... Guess what's my proverb of choice going to be today? Um, I mean, last time we had that. Um, okay, hang on. We're going to give the king a little bit of breathing room here. Um, last time the proverb was that in the opening, the bishop is more important than the rook, which I took a bit literally and uh took it a bit too literally and it didn't work out that way oh weird okay our opponent seeks to trade pieces in this circumstance so they can promote the bishop um i'll allow it not like i have a choice so that's aggressive. Um, it's good to play with a plan. How about that being the proverb? Um, so, yeah. Stuff's attacked you. We'll try to defend things and try to produce some kind of an attack. And that might not be easy. Um... I don't want to drop my rook in my own camp if I can help it. Wait, I could drop the rook here. They would drop the silver to oppose my rook. Uh, it's fine. Alright, we're going to get pawns in hand. Okay, they notice that my rook is the only piece protecting my bishop. Um, do I care? I'm not sure how much I care. Yeah, this is spooky, but what isn't? How do I produce an attack here? I offer a bishop exchange. Okay, I offer this exchange. They accept, so now we have a bishop in hand and a rook in hand. And we don't know how to use them. <laughs> so, yeah, this is going to be an experience. Uh huh. Let's see. All right, the proverb, I guess, for today is that if there's a hanging piece, you will not be lost searching for a move. Um, uh, right. Nana I was considering doing some window switching stuff to get a different proverb out, but no, it'll be fine. 
Mm-hmm. There we go. We found a move. This was an unexpected donation. I don't know how that's a mouse slip, but it is. Okay. Well, yeah, do enjoy. We are here a bit early in the morning. In the morning, sometimes we're joined by guests from afar. Um, but usually only when we play super early in the morning. <sighs> so how do I produce some attack here? I think I just have to keep pushing my pawn. Because what else have I got? Um, I could push this and try to sack for the silver, but I don't think that... Well, that's interesting. Then rook drop, and I'm forking knights. You know, the king is the thing. So don't forget to attack the king. Uh-huh. There we go. So that was part of my idea. Is there more to my idea? Or is that it? Um, hmm. Hmm, if I could deflect the king, I'd get a fork. But how do I deflect the king? If I hit the silver, they just advance it. Maybe that's fine. So if they advance toward the bishop, I bishop could duck away. Oh! This is astounding in multiple ways. Um, yeah, that's really bizarre. Go <sighs> for Pawn drop takes, 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 takes. Rook drop just picks up everything. Um, that might not even be best here. Like if I take here first, oh, then rook drop, then they block it all off. All right, we're going to do the obvious thing then. Uh... Mm hmm That's cool. Not sure what I missed here. Uh... But yeah, stuff's getting exchanged and attacked, and I guess they've built some kind of a fortress with the time I've given them. Um, but I don't know how sturdy that is. Do we push this pawn and promote it? No, we start with this. Hmm, maybe the promotion would have been the better first step here. I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm having difficulty processing just how many things are going on at once in this position. Um, okay.
Interesting. Sampun. <sighs> I don't understand. They have a silver in hand, which can do something, but not everything. Um, all right, we're just going to offer the bishop. I missed that. It's okay. There's just fireworks everywhere here, isn't there? So I'm trying to remove all the diagonal moving pieces next to the king, but if they give away free stuff, how can I not take it? Um, Ippun Sanjubio. This is just wild. N insane melee is what is going on here. So I have to protect this square, otherwise they could barricade the file here, and I don't have a way to break it down. Um, right, so this is the obvious retort. Um, How <laughs> how many principles can we break this game? Um, so we've placed a lance in front of our other pieces. And now we've placed a pawn in front of the lance. We didn't promote the silver. And we've just been, in general, taking many pieces. <laughs> um, Ippun. So this is a different kind of shogi. Hmm. Hmm. Sanjubio. All right. <laughs> Absolutely mad. So we're offering this exchange now, but if they don't accept this exchange, um, we take different pieces. Um, you know, maybe I just take this. No, we take the dragon. It's fine. Um. Oh shit, I've got 10 seconds. Uh, that's no good. <laughs> uh, this is no good. Oops. Um, alright, well, this is fun. This is a good warm-up. Yeah, I don't know. Without some cooperation, this is going to be difficult.
Yeah, we're out of time. Oops. <laughs> Good game. All right. One down, two to go. Um, yeah, let's play another. Okay, that was ridiculous, was it not? Uh, it was good fun, though. Here we go. Good luck. I completely forgot about the time control they use on this site. Like, I knew I, there's time pressure. I'm always feeling it. But, um, it helps to actually remember what the time pressure, what time control is. Um, so, yeah. It would be great if I don't make that same mistake in two consecutive games. Okay, this is insane. This is absolutely ridiculous. Um, how do we play against this? Like, I'm severely tempted to open the diagonal, but it doesn't tactically work out. Oh, yeah, just castle. You know, the opponent has done something so uh, special, we'll say that I can do pretty much anything here, and it'll be fine. Um, so that's the plan, is just do anything. And it'll be fine. Okay. Anything does include this. Um, you know, I'm curious. Show me what's up here. Show me how this game is played. Mm -hmm. Is there just something I don't know that I should know? Like, how does Shogi work? Um, yeah, maybe in the background I can load a proverb for us, if I can figure out how to get that to load. One second on that. Oh, if I type this... Okay, there we go. Defend the king with three generals. There's a proverb. Now we're ready. Is that going to apply to the current game? Who knows? Um, it's always good fun to have something there. This is a, from a list of traditional proverbs, and I give credit in the video description um, to the collator of the, the Proverbs list. So, at present, we're debating taking the silver, taking it again, taking the lance. Maybe a lance would be nice to attack with. Um, could push the lance up here first. Yeah, let's let's advance that so we don't drop it in a single move. Okay. Um. Oh, I could push this pawn too. I've got. Okay. Well, this isn't playing exactly how I thought, but that's fine. Um. Wait, they don't have a pawn in hand anymore. Oh, this is paradise. Wow. 
Wow. Okay, thank you. Um, so I played the forced move, but here, since they can't block my rook, it promotes and just becomes this very difficult to deal with monster. Um, I may or may not have been on the defending side of such a position on one or more occasions. So yeah, this will be fun. They need something to defend with. I get that. All right, they offer back the exchange so that they can plug the file, I'm sure, right? But if this were the plan the whole time, isn't there a better way? Like, the only way they can... Yeah, drop lances at a distance. Another good proverb. Um... So we're going to find a way to exchange rooks here and then just get this rook that's unopposed flying everywhere through their camp. And it'll be fun. I could also hit the rook with my bishop. They move it and then conduct the rest of my Not attack. Nothing. That's also possible. I could also drop a bishop on this diagonal. They'd have to, like, block this diagonal some way. Um, hmm. But then my bishop is limited in its power. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, I think hmm. I don't know. I'm being inconclusive. I could also drop a pawn, and then they'd have to do something. Um Yeah, so if we drop a pawn, silver potentially moves, and then I attack it. Yeah, this is just really strong, actually. Yeah, there. that's a very good proverb on this occasion. Use the silver like a plover, like a plowing tool. Have it zigzag between the pawns. That's how you'd want to use a silver general, as opposed to what we're about to observe here. Um, where things aren't quite going to go that way. All right, so we accept this. Uh, we attack again. Man, this is this is gonna be art. That's what it is. Um Go Fun. Sure, why not? And then we'll break this down a second time. And then promote once more. Mm hmm. So we've just kind of hit the jackpot there. But then also my rook's going to get a chance to promote now that I've moved the pawn out of the way. Mm -hmm. 
Um, do we just promote this now? Suppose so. Oh my goodness. Uh that must what? Tactics are hard enough in Shogi. Um yeah, actually this just wins a piece. Um, if they drop the bishop, we do this and then drop the rook here. Thanks for the game. Two down, one to go. So, yeah, build the strategy of building a castle worked out that game. Good luck. Hmm. There's a strategy here somewhere. Um, I don't see it. I'm rather puzzled. Bishop Silver takes, knight takes. No, that's not it. All right, let's just protect my king. We don't need to do anything insane here. Okay. Um. Okay. On drop, Rick takes is um, a threat I've used in other games. What is the opponent's plan here? Oh, that does defend the pawn. That's astute. Okay, I attack the pawn once more. I barricade the rook. Mm -hmm. I take this pawn, they take my bishop, I take this knight. I have an unabated attack. So let's do it. Um, so for the low, low price of one bishop, I get an unstoppable attack. Um, all right. That seems fun. All right, the opponent doesn't want this. So fine, I'll step back my bishop and use it to attack from a different direction. Okay. That does at least temporarily block my attack. Wait, they have nothing in hand. Uh, if I push... Yeah, my rook's hanging. It's fine. Um, yeah, whatever. 
We weren't using the rook anyway. So I've spent some time protecting my king here. My opponents also spent some time protecting their king. Um, we'll see how this plays out. We exchange rooks. Uh huh. I attack two gold generals. This defends the one that's not helping the king. Um. Nana fun. Choices are hard. Our choices can be difficult. Not all choices are difficult, though. All right, let's just continue attacking. Taking a lance looks interesting, but this looks more interesting. Uh, I'm searching for checkmate and not finding it. Oh my god. Well, we don't need checkmate anymore. Um, 11 billion pieces will do in lieu of checkmate. Um, yeah. They did take a lance. So... I can be concerned that now they have a lance. Um, that wasn't what I was initially so concerned about, but it's okay. How, how do I not embarrass myself? So I'm up two knights, a silver, and a gold general for a lance. Um, I think I'm doing okay. How do I hit the weakness in the opponent's position? They do have a rook in hand. Okay, horses are excellent defensive pieces. Let's just take a moment to put this on a decent square. Gofun. Are they really going to use the rook to attack my silver? I don't know. But yeah, we can take a minute, slow things down, and think carefully about how to play this. Um, they are going to use the rook. Okay. 
Um, I don't know why. Wait, hang on. No, that tactic doesn't win. Um, <laughs> fine. I guess we'll defend. I miscalculated that. It's fine. We hit the weakness of the castle. I thought I had another silver in hand. <sighs> Operation Don't Embarrass Myself is not going well. Um... Oh, dropping a silver would just hang everything anyway. Okay, there's a coherent line of thought here. Another lance would take out this point. Something. Nifun.
一分It's such a hot mess. I have embarrassed myself again. Zero. Shit. Should have taken the freaking night. Whatever. I live. That was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> right? That's enough excitement for one day, I suppose, eh? Thanks for watching, and have a good day.